Hey gang, so I wanted to jump on and do a quick video about the Bulletproof Coffee. So one of the things that you can incorporate during your fasting window is Bulletproof Coffee. Um, and the reason why we can incorporate the Bulletproof Coffee is because A, 100% um, of the calories that you consume in the Bulletproof Coffee is coming from a fat source. There are no carbohydrates and there are no proteins. Therefore, there is no glucose response and there's no insulin response. So it doesn't technically break your fast. You still stay in that kind of fasting zone. The other reason is that um, when you use the appropriate MCT oil, um, the MCT oil, if you're using the right kind, is actually going to force your body to produce ketones in minutes. Um, and that's gonna help you burn more fat too. So the Bulletproof Coffee can kind of double down on the benefits of the fasting. So that's why you're allowed to use it during your fasting window, even though it's well over 40 calories. So ideally, we always look for products that are under 40 calories to not break our fast. The exception to the rule is gonna be the Bulletproof Coffee. Now, the benefits of drinking the Bulletproof Coffee, I find are two things. First, if you feel a little foggy, a little weak, a little lethargic during your fasting window, incorporating the Bulletproof Coffee will give you a ton of energy, will give you a ton of mental clarity, get rid of that brain fog, um, and help you feel better in the morning. The other benefit is that I feel like it helps to extend your fast. So um, with all of that fat, you feel really full in the morning. So for me, I wake up and, and exercise at five in the morning, but I don't break my fast until two in the afternoon. And I think the reason why I can extend my fast to 18 to 19 hours a day is because I'm drinking the Bulletproof coffee. So it's really helpful if you struggle to extend your fast to at least 16 hours. If you're looking to extend your fast longer, the Bulletproof coffee can be really beneficial. So how do you make Bulletproof coffee? So I just use any type of um, um, coffee. You know, I use it um, just whatever I have on hand. Um, there is specific quality coffee that you can buy. This is probably the only step that I'll skimp on um, with regards to the Bulletproof Coffee. The next thing you're gonna need is quality grass-fed butter, okay? This is the one that most people use, the Kerrygold Irish Butter. Um, this is produced from um, cows that are grass-fed, grass-finished, so it's a really quality product, and it's really high in micronutrients. So you get a ton of benefit from using this type of butter. Now, I find this butter for me in my Kroger in the deli section. It's with like the artisan cheeses, so it's kind of in a weird place. Um, so if you don't see it with the butter, ask um, the manager. They probably have it someplace else, but this is what you're going to use. The next thing you're going to use is MCT oil, and I specifically recommend the Brain Octane. And the reason for that is, is because all MCT oils are not created equal. Now, sometimes you'll see people will say, yeah, I'm drinking Bulletproof Coffee and I do butter and coconut oil. Well, the problem with that is coconut oil only contains 25% MCT oil, and that's where the benefit is. So you're drinking 75% of stuff that you don't need that's not gonna help you lose weight, that's not gonna benefit you, and you're only getting 25% of what you do need. Now, if you take it a step further and you buy an MCT oil, which they're very popular on the market right now, um, you're probably not getting the specific form of MCT oil that gives you the most benefit. And again, this is not something you wanna skimp on. MCT oils um, can contain up to four different things. Okay, so we can break down MCT, uh, medium chain triglycerides, into C8, C6, C10, and C12. Some are good, some are bad. All right, the one that is the best is C8, and that is capillaric acid. That's the one that produces the ketones within minutes. Of, of drinking it and that's what we want we want ketone production because that ketone production forces us to burn more fat so that's the benefit of the bulletproof coffee now the problem is is that most of the mct oil on the market is c12 and that's lyric acid and the problem with lyric acid is that it's not even technically a medium chain triglyceride it is in um inappropriately categorized as that because it actually acts more like a long chain triglyceride than it does a medium chain triglyceride but the problem is is that um it is classified as a as an, a medium chain tri triglyceride 
um, but it's very cheap to make. It's very easy to source. So most of the MCT oil on the market is a lot of that C12 and you get zero benefit in terms of ketone production and fat burning when you're using that product. So you don't want to skimp on a good quality product. And that's why the Brain Octane is 100% C8, 100%. So every morsel that you get is going to benefit you 100%. Now, Bulletproof also makes an XCT oil, and that is a combination of C8 and C6. Now, C6 is good, um, but it just doesn't produce the ketones as quickly as the C8. So you don't get as much ketone production, but it is much cheaper to process so when you combine the two, it creates a cheaper product. So if you don't want to spend the extra money on the Brain Octane, I would recommend doing the Step Down and doing the XCT oil. Um, otherwise, if you're sourcing your MCT oil on your own, be a savvy consumer. Figure out what type of MCT it is. Is it the one that's going to benefit you? Because that's something you don't want to skimp on. Okay. So that's why we use these specific ingredients. So how do we make Bulletproof coffee? So I'm gonna brew my coffee. I'm gonna take a tablespoon of butter. Um, I'm gonna do a tablespoon of the Brain Octane um, and pour that in there. Now for me, I use um, almost 22 ounces of coffee with one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of the MCT oil. Um, and that's a lot of coffee. So if you don't like to drink that much coffee, then maybe you'll do a half a tablespoon of butter or a half a tablespoon of MCT oil. Um, you do, whenever you start the Bulletproof coffee, you do want to start very slow. Um, reduce your fat because um, if you um, load yourself with too much fat too quickly, the body sometimes can't adjust and um, it can give you loose stools. So build your way up with the butter and the oil. Um, so I make a really big cup in the morning um, with my tablespoon of each. And then I'm gonna pour my coffee in there. So this is, just for examples, this is a little bit of a smaller cup that I'm making. So, and then you do wanna blend it. Blending really um, emulsifies the butter and the oil into the coffee. Um, and you get a lot of more benefit from that. If you just stir it or melt it in there, it's all gonna separate and, and it's not gonna be near as good. So you'll see you blend it. And it really is so delicious. And I know a lot of people are like, ooh, you put butter in your, your coffee. But I'm gonna show you um, the label of the coffee, of the butter. See how, look how delicious. It's nice and creamy. It's got a froth at the top. Oh, it tastes so good. So if you look at the ingredients of butter, um, specifically this one, is it has one ingredient, cultured, pasteurized cream. And that's all butter is. It's just cream. So if you put cream in your, in your coffee, you're putting butter in your coffee too. So this is what comes out, a beautiful glass of Bulletproof coffee. So if you're going to make it, again, I suggest that you invest the money in the appropriate ingredients. Um, drink it during your fasting window. It'll definitely keep you full and satisfied and help you extend your fast. It'll also help you burn more ketones, break down more fat. I hope that this was helpful um, to help you understand more about the Bulletproof Coffee, what its benefits are, and why you can drink it during your fasting window. Thanks, guys.